So here we are, first day at the shop with Tim Montana Shrug. For those of you who don't know, Tim Montana is a music singer, does uh, country music, pretty damn good too, so go check him out. Um, anyways, we're going to build a truck for him with K&N and Tim Montana and a few other people, and I'm pretty excited to show it to you. So I'm going to bring it outside right now. Let's get a brief overview of what the truck is looks like now versus what our plans are for later. And you know, all that stuff always changes. So uh, yeah, we'll just roll with the punches, I guess. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pull the truck out and we'll get a little visual of it. We're here at Devious Customs at the shop. This is what I use to pull trucks out with because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's living it right, right here. If I keep it running. All right, here we go. There she is. So, kind of a rusty truck to start with, but you know what? Let's see what she looks like underneath. <laughs> That's called a hit and back bumper. Bang! Oh wait, it's a four wheel drive, not a two wheel drive, Hyd hydraulics. Yep, yep, it's pretty rusty. Well, this is how I look at cars, the easy way. Yeah, it's not a hoist, and it's probably really unsafe, so don't try this at home, but uh, I just wanted to get a look at what actually is going on underneath this truck. And yeah, it looks like it's from Montana, that's for sure. This thing is pretty rusty. The pinion yoke is leaking, the transfer case is leaking, the whole transmission looks like it leaked all the fluid out. And the motor's oily as shit. I'm not worried. It did run, like, yesterday, but we blew a hole in the fuel line, so, oh well. <laughs> we did do a burnout in it. We got some redneck in our future here, baby! <laughs> We're definitely gonna need to lubricate the bolts before we pull it off on this one, so we'll probably spray all them down before we start hitting it. But first, we should take a selfie, don't you think? <laughs> There we are, we got the truck on the rack. Now, we're going to get a QR code for all our guys, and I'll introduce you to those guys here in a second, and then we'll rack this clock in. And uh, for this job, I enlisted Mike. He's one of our techs here, he's really good at what he does, but he's a little camera shy, if you can't tell. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. How long do you think it'll take us to pull the cab and the bed off this rusty truck? Yep, that's where the horsepower's at. Looks like an old farm truck. I love the battery tie down. You can get this at any truck stop. Let's tear it apart. That looks like fun. So for the easiest way to get all these rusty bolts off, I've uh, enlisted the help of my friend, the hot wrench. Ha 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 ha. Up and back, up and back, up, 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 down in front. Slide it back. Okay, it's good. He pulled those blocks out, and I'm like literally holding the whole weight of the cab going, ah! I got it, I got it. Let's go down. And then we'll just four by four it. Let's four by four these though. We 
Looks like your motor mount's hanging on. That's the best damn Chevy motor mount I've ever seen. Trying to keep a Chevy motor mount together is incredible until you don't want it to. On the next episode, you'll see us finish tearing down the frame, and get everything out to sandblast and powder coat. We'll get the lift kit, we'll get that powder coated, we'll get the motor out to K&N so they can get it rebuilt, and then we're gonna, I don't know, sit around and have a nice ice cold beer. Ha <laughs> ha!